we started going to some of these seminars, some, some sponsored by NRCS, others sponsored by the local uh, colleges, farm associations. We found out there's a vast difference in the type of alfalfa that you can plant. Before, I know that we used to do a, a little bit of farm on the other small acreage. We went with uh, the old hay, which is called Ranger and some other brand names. At that time, we used to get only three cuts per season. The first cut and the last cut were very minimal. The second cut, everybody says, was very good. We found out that you can get the newer Elf Alpha, which has, which produces more leaves. It's called multifoliate. Produces more leaves per stem. We found out instead of waiting until everything blooms on top, if you cut it at 10%, that's when they start blooming. You get better crops. Not only that, we get four full cuts per year now. And as you can see, our Elf Alpha is is very, it's very, very nice elf alpha we, we produce. We're proud of our elf alpha because of that. The seeds are a little more expensive at the front end, but you cover it on the first cut. You get your recovery on the first first cut. So we've done that, and we've been telling our farm friends here along the valley, you know, don't just go with the same old. Start progressing more towards some of the new, newer elf alphas. And finally, uh, I think it's important to realize the type of elf alpha you have, good variety. You fertilize it to make sure that it grows. You can get, you can do it fairly well. Uh, you see, this is going to be our fourth cut here, and it's, you can see it's very green all over. And that's because I, I take the time to put fertilizer on in in November. Then during the winter months, it soaks in, uh, and then make sure it's watered enough. And it, it does produce good pro products, good crops. And the ranchers and the farmers, ranchers, that people that buy your products realize that. So we have a lot of standing orders for our hay. Whereas if you get a lot of weeds and stuff, people don't really care for that. And you don't get premium price. So those are some of the things we found out. So if you take care of the land, you can get you know, good return on your investment. And the thing that makes it possible is this here, because it really takes a lot of labor out of the whole irrigation process. Uh, so I think that's the whole story is, don't just look at NRCS, don't just look at the tribe, don't look at just anybody to do it for you. It'll work if you get after it. All these people are there to help you, but you have to put it together. And I, we found out that's the secret.